It's Monday 20th of May 2018 with a very slow start to the season. It's apparent things are changing with uh, what was a marginal risk day a few days ago. It's turned into a 10% tornado day across northeast Colorado. It's going to be one of those days, I think a lot of chases in one spot, a fairly decent road network. The only caveat is hoping it doesn't hit any population or affect any major roads. I sense we're going to see some pretty amazing things today. Okay, well it's 2pm Mountain Daylight Time. We have made the decision to drive east. I still think something special is going to happen off that uh, mountain range, but right now the tornado watch has been issued. Things are changing, so 4000 Cape, sitting right below that surface low, just hitting the edge of that upslope to Kansas, Colorado play today. It looks like everyone is going. It's 4.27 uh, local time. Storm has been severe warned. It's been for the last uh, five or so minutes. Looks like we have an area uh, where the storm has gone stationary where it's sitting on a boundary. That may be the storm of the day. We get to fully decide if that is the case. But for the moment we're just going to track across uh, I-70 and head north slightly to uh, intercept that storm. Let's see any other further targets uh, fire up. It's 4.42 Mountain Daylight Time, uh, nearly at sea, but and, uh, going north on the Highway 59 to intercept this first storm. Severe warned, land spouts reported, uh, but no real rotation, which will be a mesocyclonic uh, indicating a tornado threat at this time. This could be the, likely the first storm of many. But at the moment, this appears to be sitting on a boundary, so we are taking the exit now, heading north on 59 to intercept this storm. The storm is actually starting to organise a little bit. A little bit of a rotation on the southern edge. And so it looks like we're arriving just at the perfect time. Still interested to see what's going to happen to our ride. I'm going to keep an eye on that one. But we definitely have um, some rotation on the southern edge. Yeah, one thing I want to show you, watch the inflow. So one thing, if you're a storm spotter, you might think this is a fire. It's not. Look at this really carefully. You see the dust up ahead? That is inflow winds going into the storm. It's just an area which is uncovered dirt. You actually see the dirt being sucked into the storm. That's a very good indication show you what this storm is doing. Before we hit Cove, I'm actually tempted to actually just jump on the next dirt road that goes across. And that was, we have one back just there, which actually gets across. So what we're actually going to do, there's no cars here, we are actually indeed going to turn around here. There's no cars, so we're safe to turn. As we're starting to see some lowering features, which I want to have the front camera on. And this thing started. Back build, so we're going to back about half a mile. I'll throw you to the front camera. I'd say that's a storm chaser. I'd say that's a storm chaser. Now let's just assist dirt. No, we're good. Gravel dirt. So it's a sand base rather than just pure mud. Watch ourselves very, very carefully here because there could be chasers coming around all over the place. So, we're going to zoom in to the storm base. The area we're looking is the updraft just in there. So, now we're looking for tornadoes and funnels. In fact, we've got one right there. It could be a land spout forming just in there. See that? Now, likely that is actually a, likely a land spout tornado, but it may be mesocyclonic. I don't know yet, but we definitely have some level of tornadic activity 
Now we're going to watch our double roads here. We have right away, but just factor because a lot of people are watching this thing. So right in front of you. to the uh, south, uh, west of Cope, uh, likely a land spout tornado forming uh, just on the uh, Colorado storm which is under the tornado watch. Uh, yet to confirm if this is actually a real tornado or a full land spout, but uh, certainly quite interesting to watch. Live storm stream can be found at severestorms.com.au. That's beautiful. We're driving right up to that. I just want to double check rotation of the storm. Yeah, it's on the southern edge. I'm going to say it's a land spout because it's, there's no hook go. It's just on the southern edge, so we'll just probably go straight up to this. And we're going to actually get quite close. It's actually quite beautiful to watch. Oh, what a magnificent, magnificent tornado. Safety first, a lot of crossroads, a lot of storm chasers looking in different directions. Chases. Are good? Are good? Here we go. Straight through. Okay, so we may have another land spout forming just to our left as well. Still very early days, I can't see any more clouds. Uh, although, keep an eye just in here. That there would be the area where I'd expect to see maybe a tornado, possibly. A bit of rotation there, just keep an eye on that. Wow, that was pretty. 
need a tripod out. Another end spell. Spin this round very quickly. I do need to get my tripod set up, so just give me a second. Yeah. Spin you around. Wow, then you think it's gonna be a land spout day. Look at this. Another one falling just in there. What a day. We'll have to modify it, not if it's great, but we'll do the best we can. I've done a tornado one of us. This just happening right there, right here. That's happening. And we got a bit of a wider shot here.
happening right here. Yeah, look, think we have a tornado forming right in front of us. Make sure we're not going to get bogged here. Right in here. Land spout was to uh, the left. Right there is a developing to tornado right in front of us. as well. Shit, there's two of them. Okay, we've got one tornado forming just there. Let's spin around. We've got another one right there. Absolutely incredible to watch. Absolutely incredible to watch.
Right. Check this out. Turn the camera around. Run for us. Check that out. What's amazing, off to our right, there's a second one, but this thing is just. Just looks amazing. Absolutely incredible. But the show of the day is right there, double land spouts. Thunderstorm to our north, severe warned, a bit of rotation just there. But the show of the day is right there, double land spouts. Just on the far southern edge. What a view! What a view! get 
right up this. Time to get a bit closer. Okay, I'm going to our to our south. Incredible view. So what we're going to do now, we're going to drive right up to them. These aren't very strong. forming just in front of us as well. So one land spout just ahead of us, another one just here.
right there. So we have two in front of us, two to the left and one to the right. Absolutely incredible view. trying. tornado just works its way over the prairies. That's a pipe break. I'm 
gonna block traffic here. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Landspat tornado is just, oh, I don't know, 80, 100 yards wide at most. And this is actually the debris field. You see it just flying around. Absolutely incredible to watch. All of it's just hay, grass clippings. But as we, we drive right up on this thing, the whole thing just rotates around. It's incredible to watch. But you can see the debris just being sucked around us. off to our left hand side we're just right at the edge of the debris field where we are just in the debris wings Hold still here. Wow, that's dusty. That's really dusty. That's really quite dusty. south. Now I'm concerned is, I mean this thing could still produce a tornado up north but right now this is just a lance, lance belt fest at the moment. Got it. Spotted it 
Still going. We're south of the main area. Just everywhere we look at, here's another one forming. Just in there. Looks like we've got a new area just forming. This thing's just going to be a landspout fest. It's a big storm. Yeah, this thing's hit just a big boundary. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep heading south before these roads get all fucked up. The National Weather Service in Goodland has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Kit Carson County until 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.46 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles southeast of close to near Cyber, moving east at 50 miles per hour. I've just gone south of the main rotation. Sight to behold. It looks like the southern edge of the storm is what's uh, producing the show of the day.